All right, so here I just straight stitched and zigzagged my crotch seam. You do not need to press anything at this point. Your next step is going to be the side seams. Now, what I don't want to see you do is sew here and sew here. If you sew like that, okay, and you try to wear your shorts like this, this piece, okay, is not big enough to cover your frontal area and definitely not big enough to cover your bottom. So, instead of doing that, what you need to do, after you've straight stitched and zigzagged your crotch seam, you're going to pretend like you're riding a horse. So you're going to put your shorts on, okay, you're going to hold your legs together, okay, you're going to let go of the back and open up the front. Now you can see this is starting to look like a pair of shorts, okay? You're going to hold the front in place, reaching between your legs, you're going to grab the back, opening it up as you go. Okay? Now, you should have something that looks like a pair of shorts that is right sides together. Okay? Once you have it so that it's right sides together, you're going to pin your side seam. So I have one side seam here, one side seam here. So you can see here on my jeans, this is the side seam that you will be sewing on your shorts. So once you've figured out where your side seams are, you're going to set it down and you're going to pin. So again, when you're pinning, you're pinning the bottom. Coming up, pinning the top, making sure your edges are matching both edges here and here, okay, and then you're going to move your fabric over, and again, you're going to pin all the way up the side seam, okay, so that's one side seam pinned. Now, you can see here, this is a little bit bumpy and lumpy. Don't worry about this at all. You just want to make sure that your side seams are matching. So again, you're doing the same thing here, pinning the ends. Pinning the bottom, and then pinning all the way in between. 